OK, let's configure the Petri Dish pH monitor. Firstly, select the port that's connected to your sensor. And then go to the Configure tab. It's here that you need to enter values specific to the media you're using. A couple of these, the color of the acid dissociation constant and the bicarbonate concentration might be tricky to find. But we can fix that by using the Derive button. And now we can simply add the target pH and associated carbon dioxide concentration. Your media manufacturer will be able to give you these. You'll also need to set the pressure at which these values apply. Then click Calculate. And suitable coefficients will have been automatically calculated. But what about the pressure? No problem. Use the Altitude button. My lab's way up here in Denver so I can enter my height above sea level. It's about 1600 meters. And look, the pressure has dropped to around 630 millimeters Hg. That will affect the concentration of CO2 that I'll need to maintain a given pH. Finally let's save all our hard work. Thank you for watching this brief presentation.